Jasmine. So I'm really excited for today's tutorial because today I'm going to be doing three different characters from Oran High School Host Club. I'm going to show you guys how I do this Ronka look right here. I'm also going to show you Honey Nozuka and I'm also going to show you how to he's. So I'm really excited. I want to quickly mention that I wanted to do a lot more looks before this one ever came out simply because I ordered contacts in advance. I ordered it like over a month ago and it's still not here so I hope that the next tutorial you will start seeing more creative looks from me um, but I do really love these cosplay videos that I'm doing for you guys it's literally my favorite to film so I hope you guys all enjoy my Ronka look and let's get started since Ronka plays both the mom and dad for Haruhi we do want to prep the skin because of course she wears makeup. So here we go in with the NYX Pore Filler Primer to evenly smooth out the skin. Just like my last tutorial, I am using my foundation that's in my contact case from my past weekend trip, and that is my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation and my Catrice HD foundation. I just wanna use this up before I actually pump out any more foundation out of a bottle. In the show, Ronka usually just has her brows and lipstick on, but I want to go in with a look that's more of like a, I'm working at my tranny bar type of look. So we are gonna go a little bit more full glam today. So I do wanna go in with a full coverage base to make sure that we have no imperfections. Now we all know Ronka is hardworking, so she's probably really tired. So I'm gonna go in with a heavy layer of concealer to hide any redness, any discoloration, anything like that. And today I am using my Catrice Liquid Camo Concealer, and then I'm going to blend that out with my Japanese Kumidori sponge. Today's palette of choice is the Maker Revolution and Emily the Wands palette. I'm taking the color Cheer and applying that in my eyebrows because Ronka does have red hair, so I want to make sure that she does have matching eyebrows. For these small hair-like strokes, I'm going to take the shade Apartment, which is a dark brown, and I'm taking that on a smaller eyebrow brush just so that we can make that illusion realistic. Brows are snatched, we love this, I love it. So I'm thinking that I wanna go more for like a brownish red type of smoky eye. I'm looking at this palette and I'm thinking that this row right here is really honestly perfect for Ronka because it has the transitions and it has that little pop of pink and it kind of matches the lip color that she does wear. So I'm thinking that I will do all four of these shades and if I want to go into one of these shimmers, I have the ability to. I'm starting off with the shade Hobby and I'm applying this into my crease as a transition shade. I'm going to take Dew's Paid and I'm going to take that a little lower just to deepen up that crease color. And I'm making sure that I'm winging out the outer corner of my eyes because I do want my eyes to be big and elongated. I'm using the shade Love Tons, which is a beautiful cranberry shade. And I'm going to take this into my crease again, deepening it up and winging it out. This is going to make the look a little bit more of that cranberry color as opposed to just nude. I'm going to go ahead and do a full cut crease moment. So I'm just going to go in and do the cut crease starting from the outer corner and then working my way into the inner corner. Now I'm taking Laugh Cry, which is a beautiful salmon peachy pink color and I'm applying this all on the area where I applied my concealer just so that we have this as our main color focus. We're gonna use one of the Jelly Mud shadows from ColourPop. This one is in the shade Close to You. And I'm gonna take this on a small pencil brush and I'm gonna go ahead and outline my cut crease. This is just gonna add a little bit of shimmer and I feel like this will add a little bit more of a fun element to Ronka's look. Deep down, I know Ronka wears winged eyeliner. I know she does. She does it for work. It's always for work. It's always a night thing. It's her go-to. So I'm gonna use my NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner to create my nice flowy wing. I'm gonna go ahead and prep my lashes. So first I'm going to apply the Essence Lash Princess, the Volume Mascara. And then I'm going to be applying my Lily Lashes in the Style Miami's because I think Ronka would rock some Miamis for his work at night at the tranny bar. I genuinely feel like he's a Miami girl. He loves spending some coin on lashes and that's on that. 
For my lower lash line, we are going to take a little bit of Laugh Cry because I'm using the brush that already has that color on there. And so we might as well just utilize that for the lower lash line. I'm going to take this pretty low as well because I want my eyes to be a little bit bigger. So when you extend the color, it just overall makes your eyes look like you have more surface area. Then with the brown that we used in our eyebrows, I'm going to take that right near the lash line, right where my hairs grow, so that it furthers the illusion that my eyes are bigger than they actually are. Never neglect that bottom mascara because that also furthers the illusion. If you don't have any bottom lashes, feel free to draw them on or even use some fake lashes. For that inner corner, I am grabbing that shade called Oh Heavens and applying that right in that inner corner area to really brighten things up. And we might as well take that into the brow bone as well because why not? So this is one eye done. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one off camera and then we can go ahead and finish the face. Normally when I do my cosplay transformations, I don't like to go in with a heavy bronzer or contour simply because a lot of the characters usually have really round faces and they look a little bit more youthful. So for today, I'm just using my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer and I'm using this on my Sigma F40 brush. This is a perfect shade because it's just a hint darker than my natural skin tone. You can see a little bit of the shadows and the warmth whenever I do look straight ahead so that's kind of what I want I don't want anything you know super crazy and because Ronka loves her blush tones we are gonna go in with the blush box by Catrice in the shade Berry and I'm going to heavily apply this on the cheekbones and now I'm guessing Ronka is a performer so I know that she wants that color to be very vibrant and will last all night so I'm just gonna go ahead and pack this on with a more dense brush and I'm also going to take this on the nose just like that for highlight, I'm gonna take the shade Cupcake and Oh Heavens. I'm gonna mix them both, and I'm going to apply that as my highlight. So it's going to be like a light pink highlight. For my lipstick combination, it looks like Ronka has more of like a berry toned red lip usually. So I'm going to line my lips with my favorite lip liner. This is by Real Her. This is the I Am Confident lip liner. And then I'm going to mix that in with the Shop Misé So Smooth lipstick in the shade Sangria. All right, everyone, there I've set my Ronka look. How perfect is this? This is literally so fishy. I love it so much. I just feel like this embodies her. I wish I had like a really big necklace to just complete this look. But honestly, I feel like if you have somebody else who can cosplay as Haruhi with you, oh, game over. It is, oh, game over. For everyone who knows Auron High School Host Club, they'll want to take pictures with you because they'll know exactly who you are. So I hope you guys all enjoy this look. Now let's go on into the second one. to bring you guys my Mitsukuni Hani no Zuka look for you guys. I'm really, really freaking excited. The last time I cosplayed as Honey was about eight years ago. So I'm really excited to bring this one back for you guys. I love this look so much. It's really wearable, just on its own, truthfully. Um, but with everything together, it kind of just embodies him. So I'm really excited to get into this look. So let's get started. So for the rest of the characters in this video, I'm going to keep the base fairly similar. So I just did everything the same, the foundation, the primer, the concealer. Now let's go into the eyebrows. I'm still gonna use the same Emily palette and I think for the brows, I wanna go in with Hobby because that is like a dusty brown and I feel like it'll look good under the blonde wig. Just a heads up, this look is going to be really, really easy to do simply because he is more of like a Lolita type boy. So we are going to play in with a little bit of color but a little bit more of the neutral tones as well. For Honey's eyebrows I genuinely feel like I shouldn't carve them out and make it look as straight and even as possible because at the end of the day he still is a boy so I want to make my brows 
unruly as well, but I still want them to be defined because he is a little Lolita boy. So I'm going to not do the concealer trick and I'm just going to messily apply the powder in my brows and I think this is where I want it to be at. For my eyes, I'm taking the shade Hobby, which is the same color we used in our eyebrows. And I'm just going to make sure that this is going to be our transition shade for the other colors that we will be applying. I'm gonna take the shade Laugh Cry and I'm using that on the side of my blending brush. And I'm just ever so gently sweeping it in the outer corner and then dragging it in towards my eye, towards the inner corner. And the reason being is that I want this pink to represent Usachan. <laughs> I want this to have a little bit of color, like a kiss of pink, but not overwhelming because I still want him to look like a boy. Has anyone watched the drama version of Oran High School Host Club? I remember watching it way back in middle school and I used to be so shook about it. I was like, wow, I'm like the only person who's ever watched it. And since then, I only know one other person who has watched it and that's my best friend, Victoria. Other than that, I don't know anyone who's ever watched it. So if you have watched it, let me know so we can fangirl together because uh, honestly, iconic. Loved it. On a flat concealer brush, I'm gonna take the white eyeshadow in the palette and that is called the cream. And I'm going to outline a cut crease, more of a half cut crease because I want this to be an illusion that my eyes are open, they're wide. So I'm going to keep the color like that. And then I'm going to take the blending brush and blend the edges so that when everything is said and done, there's just a little bit of a highlight right in that inner third area. I'm also taking that highlight shade called Oh Heavens and I'm going to apply this in the inner corner as well as my lower lash line. So I'm actually gonna take this pretty far in because I want my eyes to look a little bigger. And then with that hobby shade, I'm gonna make a weird face. Like I'm trying to squint my eyes but I'm also trying to smile and I'm trying to get this area right here, normally where I would crease. And I'm going to add a shadow right there. Um, and this is going to make my eyes a little bit bigger. It's gonna give that illusion. I don't know. I don't know if this is really gonna work, but uh, we'll see. Okay, using my finger, I am applying the cupcake shade, which is that light pink, right in the area where I would naturally grow my lashes. Ugh, ugh. My upper eyelid looks too obvious that I'm wearing eyeshadow, so I'm just gonna take a clean blending brush and just messily blend that away. I want this to look as natural as possible, so just make sure to go over the edges so that everything is just blended and smoked out. We're gonna go in with my Volume Mascara by Essence. I'm debating if I wanna go in with lashes or not, um, but we'll see how I like my natural lashes with just mascara. For lashes, I'm going to apply these really natural lashes by Cara. These ones are in the style Wispy. This is just going to enhance a little bit more of my eye and make it look a little bit more doll-like. I think for this look, it would be appropriate to just skip out on bronzer simply because I feel like I don't need it. I'm going to take my blush box that I used in Ronka's look and I'm going to apply it right under the eye area like this just to give me more of like a cutesy vibe and I'm also going to take that on my nose as well. And then I'm going to use the two eyeshadows that I used in Ronka's look, the Oh Heavens and Cupcake eyeshadow and I'm going to I guess heavily apply it because the more you apply on the apple of the cheek, the more youthful you look. So I'm going to apply a lot of this. I'm gonna go in circular motions to blend this out. For Honey's lips, I'm gonna take the Shot Massey So Smooth Lipstick in the shade Shore. It is just a really nice light pink nude. So I think this will kind of complement his look. All right, everyone, that wraps up my little honey makeup look for you guys. I'm really loving this one in particular. The wig itself was actually kind of hard to maneuver. So this one is actually called the Hillary wig. 
believe me or not. Um, so the part is actually right in the middle here and I just gathered the two sections that was closest to my face. I pinned them in the center and then I just styled it to look like this. Mitsukuni also has some hair that just frays out like this so I kind of just did that. This also has residual hair gel and hairspray from my Naruto look that I did with this wig so it was easy to you know do this part but I think the struggle was uh, the entire bang area. I'm loving this one and I can't wait to get into Haruhi's look. So I'm excited to bring you guys my Haruhi Fujioka look. I just realized I didn't have my microphone plugged in into this entire tutorial, but it's fine. It's just going to sound a little bit echoey, just letting you guys know. Um, but for some rude reason, I'm not loving the way this turned out, partially because of my natural hair color. My natural hair color is black and hers is like a light honey brown and I just don't own any brown wigs. So just bear with me and just, uh, you know, imagine I had brown hair. I already have my base down for Haruhi's look, same as Honey, same as Ronka. So I'm going to go into my brows. Today I'm using a brow pencil. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Dark Brown to fill in my brows. Today I want to emulate more of a youthful brow, so I don't want to go in with anything too heavy. Just like Honey, I'm going to leave my brows as is. I'm not going to touch them any further. I think that it just gives this brow more softness. So I'm going to go ahead and use the same palette here. Now I do want to give her a little bit more of a glam look because I just feel like if I just did lashes and left the look like that, I wouldn't be satisfied. So we're going to go into maybe a golden smoky eye. We've been utilizing this hobby shade a lot and I think I'm going to do that again and I'm probably going to stick around this area and then use the gold down here. So now I'm taking hobby and I'm popping this into my crease as a transition shade. This is just going to start the look off, give me a little base for the other shadows to lay on top of. Now I'm taking a little bit of Midwest and I'm popping that directly into my crease just to warm this look up a little bit more. Also, have you guys ever read the manga? I read it, but I don't remember much of it. I remember it was just so much different than the anime and I just felt like it wasn't funny enough for me manga wise. It wasn't funny enough for me, so that's why I stuck to the show because I love having a good laugh. I mean, if you like a lot of drama, maybe you might like the manga better. It's kind of your preference on the genre. I'm now using my finger in that shade Top Story, and I'm going to just slide this all over my eyelid to give my lid a little bit more glow. I'm going to use the dark brown in the palette. This one's called Apartment, and I'm going to try and line this near my lash line as close as possible. I'm using a pencil brush for this because I want this to be a lot more smoked out as opposed to just a straight line. And then with my finger in the shade Oh Heavens, I'm going to apply this in my inner corner and blend it into the golden shade on my eyelid. Now with that same pencil brush, I am going to take that shade called Midwest and I'm going to apply this right on the lower lash line. Don't forget that mascara, it's very important. We want this to be a base for the fake lashes that we will be applying. For lashes today, I'm applying the same lashes that I used for Honey's look, the Kara Lashes in the style Wispy. I will be applying bangs, so the bronzer on the forehead is unnecessary. So we're going to go straight into blush. I'm using the same one as I did for the past two characters. And unlike Honey, I'm going to apply this more so on the apple of the cheek. Now with my Chocolate Sully bronzer and that same angled brush, I'm going to start near the hairline here. And then I'm going to work my way towards the front of my cheek, the apple of my cheek, and blend in that shade so that it looks a little bit more natural and a little bit more... Like I'm just so bashful. Just very bashful. Don't forget to take the excess on your nose. Just makes everything pull together. For lips today, I'm using the Chamisei So Smooth Lipstick in the shade Bliss. And this is a nice light pink lip.
All right, everyone, that wraps up my video. Hope you guys all enjoy. I hope you guys all enjoy my Haruhi look, my Honey look, and my Ronka look. I love them all evenly. I think this one just reminds me of how I looked last year with my bangs. Um, as most of you guys know, I had my China bangs going on. Um, I just feel like I don't look like Haruhi because my hair is just so black. But you know what? Whatever. It happens. So I hope you guys all enjoy this look and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Peace out, Girl Scouts.